Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a quick reveal for you guys. So a couple months back, I actually posted a fashion file video, my first time selling on fashion file, and I sold my Dior Trotter saddlebag, and it wasn't, it was the original model, so not the newer versions. And I went on and on about, well I didn't go on and on about it, but I kind of just went on about um, the reasons why I didn't like it and from the title you probably can tell that I repurchased the bag So I repurchased the Dior saddle bag in the denim color with the brown leather and the gold hardware <laughs> Okay, so uh, if you watched that last video, I talk about how I didn't like the shape of the Dior saddlebag. The reason why I actually sold my Dior saddlebag was because I didn't like the shape of it. I didn't like cloth, like that bag being made of cloth because it can carry closet scent or scents. And I pretty much was kind of convincing myself to sell it. And I am really glad that I did sell it because I figured out like thinking about it after I sold it I regretted it like initially I was like okay I feel pretty good because I made a couple hundred dollars off of it and it just felt good to kind of get rid of it because I just wasn't reaching for it as much and I started thinking about why and it was pretty much more so the print and originally when I was looking for the saddlebag I was looking for this model and I kept looking and looking and I, I couldn't find it anywhere um, and if I did find it it was way overpriced so I ended up finding my Dior saddlebag through Yes I Am Vintage which I'm so thankful and I'm glad that I actually found that brand uh, that company that sells vintage bags but I settled for the second design that I wanted and I think that's a really good learning lesson because you know if you want a certain color or you want a certain leather on a bag or just like a certain style don't go second or settle for like a different color or different hardware or just something different than what you originally want because you'll just end up wanting to go back to your original model that you wanted in the first place so i did end up repurchasing this about i think two weeks uh, a week ago yeah a week ago I found it on eBay and this is exactly the bag that I wanted the first time I was looking for the saddle bag. It is the denim version and it has the, the, the little details, the gold and blue details, rope detail or is it chain? Chain detail. Yeah and that's exactly how my other bag was too. Um, my shorter one, it had the same details in the inside. Um, the same lining so this is the exact bag I wanted in the first place but ended up getting the blue trotter and in retrospect I really did like that bag a lot um, and it still is I did take this to Aspen and it still is a bag that is hard to put things in you know you gotta play Tetris in but I am glad I have it back I really missed it in my life um, and I'm glad that I got the original version that I wanted. So I purchased this off of eBay um, from a seller that has 100% ratings and I think over 300, 300 reviews of 100%. And I messaged them because the price was really good and I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. And she said that um, she had it in her closet for a while when she bought it and was trying to sell it. And she said that I would... Um, I definitely can get it authenticated or bring it to the Dior store and then if, um, you know, just to make sure it's authentic and if I want to send it back, I can. But um, I actually did take this to the Dior store in Aspen and the sales associate was like, oh my gosh, is that like the original version? And so she started looking at it and she was playing with it a little bit. So yeah, she looked at it and she, she loved it. Um, I didn't ask her if it was authentic or not, but I mean, I'm pretty sure she would have said something if it wasn't. I also took pictures and sent it to Authenticate first. This is the first time I'm authenticating with them and I'm still currently, uh, sorry, my face is so itchy. I think I've like fur. Oh, definitely fur. So I, uh, this is the first time I'm authenticating with them. I heard good things about them, so I wanted to give them a shot myself, and so um, 
I'm kind of having issues with them because I sent them pictures last week and then they're like I need more pictures and then I sent more pictures again and they're like we need more pictures and I'm like kind of annoyed because I've sent so many pictures so I need to send the third row of pictures um, but from my personal experience and comparing this from to my other bag this does look authentic but um, you just never know I don't really know bags all that well so I don't know if this is like um, 100 like I don't know if this is a really good super fake I don't know I don't know it just looks authentic to me because I've had the old one and I compare pictures but you just never know so like you know if you always buy pre-love always get it authenticated so I'm currently waiting for the authenticate um, first authenticate to give me the final answer so I will uh, before I post this video I will either leave it here and tell you guys if it's authentic or if it's not authentic I obviously won't post this video or maybe I will I don't know but I will definitely have it somewhere here or in my description box but um, yeah I'm just really glad to have this bag back in my life um, I did have a change of heart because you know, sometimes when you let things go and then you bring it, you know, you, then you miss it and it comes back, then you know it's meant to be. So yeah, I should have just, lesson learned, should have just stuck to finding the original bag that I wanted instead of settling for the Trotter print. For the, show, <laughs> instead of settling for the uh, Trotter print. But yeah, alright guys, well, um, if you want to see a video on what fits in this bag, there are a few online and also a few on YouTube and also I did one as well I'll put it in the eye right here and yeah I just really love this bag so much I think it looks really good with everything and I've always wanted a denim bag I think denim bags are really cool I'm even even uh, eyeing like the LV denim bags just think they're really cool bags so yeah I'm hoping to I don't think I'm gonna buy a Dior strap for it but maybe something on Etsy or eBay or somewhere Amazon to find a strap for it. I have been using my LV strap with it and uh, my monogram, my uh, not the monogram ones, the like the patinaed ones, the fashetta one, and also um, my um, my blue one from my Emperor leather. But yeah, guys, I just kind of wanted to pop in here and show you this cute little baby. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave your comments down below. I'm really glad to have this back. I thought this was perfect when I took it to Aspen because it had like, you know, it looks like a saddle. We were in the mountains and um, it just kind of has like that earthy denim feel to it. So, all right guys, I will talk to you later and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. If you like videos like this, then yeah, come back, subscribe, and I'll be back with another video soon. Bye.